Yo, can we stop going after transformation pictures? Oh, oh, oh. All right, I got a tweet for you. You ready for this? Should we drum roll it? What's in the box? Ah, uh, you ready? Oh my God, it's gonna hurt. I think it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna fuck your eye holes. Here we go. Uh, Shira Rose, your before and after weight loss photo is inherently fat phobic. It's automatically positioning being larger as bad, no matter your intention. Your actions do not exist in a vacuum. There is no way to talk about how much you hate your larger body without harming your fat friends. Matt Damon. I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on already. I'm already lost. I can't even handle this shit. How do you, I can't even break, I almost can't even rage anymore on this stuff. It just doesn't, my brain just explodes. They always spout the same BS too. This is not a before and after photo. This is a transformation. Predictable as fuck. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it's a fucking transformation. Try it sometime. Put the cookie down. <laughs> Put the fucking cookie down. Where's my Where's my thing? There you go. Who told you you keep my cookies? Sit down and dial down the drama. It's a literal before and after photo, no matter how dramatic you get. There are no words in the world that will change that. Oh, my God. This chick is out. <laughs> oh, she keeps on going. There's more. But wait, there's more. Bodies change throughout our lives because that's what bodies do. It would be amazing if we stopped positioning fatness with laziness, sadness, and lack of discipline. What a fat phobic, harmful, and inaccurate message to spread. Oh, oh, oh. Matt Damon. Oh, my head. Never go for return. Yo, can we stop going after transformation pictures? Doesn't that sound like the most petty bullshit ever? Is there anything more or is there anything more petty than going after transformation pictures? For real, for fucking real, is there anything more ridiculous? Is there anything more repugnant? than going after transformation pictures. Really, you have a problem with someone calling it transformation? Yes, it's a before and after. Of course it's a before and after. It's also someone transforming. Whether you think it's a big transformation, how are you categorizing a transformation? Is there a law saying that a transformation has to be over 100 pounds difference? No, you can have a small transformation. You can be transforming every day. We have transformers that provide us power and so forth. It's a word. Get the fuck over it. You are a retard, Shira Rose. You need to get off the Twitter. And I want to know. First, I want to know what turns you on. I like to know. I want to know. But I also want to know who the fuck is liking this. this. I don't know what's scarier. That this chick has thumbs or that 474 people liked this shit post. I don't know which is worse. I'm not sure what I'm concerned about more. Like, look, and then she followed up and she's talking to herself and she has 101 other fucktards and then 124 fuck nuggets. Like, where are these people? Where are they finding these morons? What is going on with this girl? What is going on in her head? Mambo mania. Seems like it's only fat people who are triggered by transformation pictures. Body positive my ass. <laughs> right? Isn't that... I think that's, I think that's the big irony with everything. I think that's the most... I think that's the irony. That's the irony of the situation. It's only the fat people. Where are the skinny people? I guess Jamila Jamil, but she is a... She, she lost weight and... She's so, she's so woke. She can't even, she can never go to sleep. She never sleeps. <laughs> but if you're going after someone's success, this is someone that's hating on someone else's success. How many of you have a before and after picture? It means you had a picture before when you weren't as happy with your body. And now you're happier with your results. I have a before and after too. You know, I did, I wasn't working out. I mean, I've been working out for a long time. So my transformations also just age too. But I didn't work out, and then I did. And then I was a lot bigger, and I leaned out, and I bulked up again, 
and then I lean down. Like right now, I'm in more of a lean phase. I'm more in a shape phase. I downsized a little bit. I've been changing my training style, but I'm transforming. I'm always transforming. Man, if you're knocking down, this is someone knocking someone down for their success. That's atrocious. That's disgusting. Go fuck yourself, Cheryl Rose. Go get fucked. Get fucked. What we got here? Get fucked. Go fuck yourself. Jeez. If you have a transformation picture, everyone that I talk to, I mean, if, if you see bu- if you see bullshit transformation pictures, no one likes that. No one likes being lied to. That's the thing. No one likes being lied to. Let me get that over here. Right? No one likes being lied to. There we go. Here. There we go. What we got? Beautiful. No one likes being lied to. So if you have a fake transformation picture and someone photoshops it, that sucks. You have an Adobe Gaines. That's, that, that's lame. That's lame. But there are so many real transformation photos. There are so many real success stories. Those, those should be lauded. Those should be put on a pedestal. We should admire that because it means that we have the ability to do it ourselves. That should give you inspiration because it shows that, hey, if this fucking person can do it, why the fuck can't you do it? Why can't you do it? Oh, you're an ex-fat. You're not as fat as us. You left us. You betrayed us. It's not like you got traded from the Bulls to the Knicks or something. Give me a fucking break. You lost weight and now you're a healthier, happier person. It's not like you got traded. You went from the Yankees to the Red Sox. No, I hate you. We can't be friends anymore. Get the fuck out of here. I lost weight. It's my life. Go fuck yourself. Seriously. Seriously. Go fuck yourself. First, take a big step back and literally fuck your own face. <sighs> that beach needs to eat a steak, lift weights, and shut the fuck up. 